A homecoming, decades overdue, but the timing turned out to be perfect to honor this fallen Cincinnati soldier. And it's so important to do that, especially on days like today. Now, more than 60 years after his death, Nine on Your Sides, Brianna Harper takes a look at how his family is keeping his memory alive. The plane of taps, an honorary gun salute, all the makings of a traditional Memorial Day service. But in this case, it's nearly 66 years overdue. He was our hero, you know. His death took us, the whole family, very hard. The death of Private First Class Everett Eugene Johnson. He was a Cincinnati native serving in the Korean War in 1950 before he was eventually killed in combat. Back home in the United States, PFC Johnson had a full family of support behind him, including his nephew, who was only seven years old at the time. I remember him uh, carrying me around on his shoulders and uh, he would he would sing funny songs and make me laugh. Loving, caring, gentle. Just a few words used to describe PFC Johnson. At the time of his death, his remains were unidentified and left buried in the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific. But as a child, his nephew Michael had one never ending prayer. I had always prayed that Uncle Gene would be brought home. And I never forgot that, and I continue to do that uh, throughout as I became an adult. And today that prayer is answered as PFC Johnson returns home to Cincinnati to be honored and memorialized at his final resting place. I'm just so thrilled. He belongs here. It makes me feel so good about our country that we truly will not leave any stone unturned to bring back our people. Brianna Harper, 9 on your side.